welcome everyone ken here back with another video for you today i'm talking about if a data science certificate a data science boot camp or a data science master degree is worth it for you i think that there are scenarios where all three of these options could be valuable to people in specific situations but there are also scenarios where none of these three options may be the best choice for you. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell that lets you know when I post a new video about data science or sports analytics. So I'm gonna talk about the positives and negatives of each of these three options, and then also the positives and negatives of actually not going with any of these options and doing self-study. Now, at the same time, it's important to understand that different certificate programs, different boot camps, different master's degrees have varying levels of uh, effectiveness. There's some certificates that are really good, there's some boot camps that are really good, but there are also some, you know, master's degrees or some of these programs that really don't give you the skills that you need or help you in the way that you would like it to with the money that you're putting forward. So there's a lot of variance, you know, within each of these groups and you should really do your due diligence, do your homework to determine if the boot camp or the certificate or the master's degree you're pursuing is of a top high standard that will give you the best exit opportunities. All right, so let's first start talking about a data science certificate program. I'll go through a couple of the positives here. So the first one is that they're relatively inexpensive and also relatively uh, low on the time consumption spectrum. So you can do this if you're working full time. It, it does give you a reasonable taste of what data science is, and it can help you learn some of the very foundational skills. A data science certificate program can also help you to start build out your portfolio so you can work on some projects. Um, but those that's really where the benefits end. Now, some of the drawbacks here are that this is a data science certificate is rarely, if ever, going to uh, get you a data science job. Employers are pretty apathetic to seeing a data science certificate on your resume, unless it's really coupled with some other incredible either working experience or project experience. Now, um, the level of education, the level of rigor in the academics at these certificate programs is also relatively low. They don't always have their best professors teaching these classes and the other students in these sections aren't always that strong. So if you learn very fast, if you're really uh, looking to dive head on into this, you might be held back by your peers. So is this option right for you? So if you have no background in data science and you're looking to get some taste of what it's like, I think that this could be a good option. I don't think that this will land you a job. I don't think that this will give you the advanced skills that you need. But if you want to see if this is something that you could be interested in doing and it'll give you a little foundation, this is a reasonable place to start. I also think that on the other end of the spectrum, if you're coming from a PhD, you're coming from a very quantitative background and you just want to get familiar with the data science toolkit where you already have that pretty rigorous analytic toolkit that you could probably become a data scientist already. Uh, this gives you a little bit of, of, I guess, proof, if you will, to show that you're, you're willing to go and do some extra learning to make sure that your previous you know, math, physics, computer science skill set is going to be applicable to the data science field. So it's a little bit of like a you know, padding in your resume to show that you're truly, truly interested in data science. Outside of these options, I can't really see any other reasons why this type of certificate program would make a lot of sense to you unless you're getting it for free from your work as well. All right, let's move on to data science boot camps. Now, boot camps, I think, have the largest breadth in quality compared to the certificate and the master's degrees programs. Some of them are, are actually pretty good at teaching you the skills and getting you a job. And some of them I'm very skeptical of. You know, there are some that like guarantee you get a job out of this thing. And it doesn't mean it's a data science job. It could be something ancillary to that field. So for this type of program, I would make sure you do as much homework as you can and also try and do as many interviews with people who have graduated from the program to see what their experience was. Now, getting into some of the positives here, 
Most of these boot camps really work hard to try and get you some sort of job after you're done. If they have a high placement rate, that looks really good for them. So they are willing to go through and help you with networking with data science employers and also help you with your resume and your project work to make sure that those are appealing to potential employers as well. I also think that some boot camps do a reasonable job of actually giving you the programming and math skills that would be useful in the field. Although again, this is a little bit hit or miss depending on which boot camp you go to. The two biggest drawbacks for me here are that it is very expensive. A lot of these boot camps are 5,000, 10,000, 15, dollars $20,000. And they're also very intensive and time consuming. So you will generally have to quit your job if you wanna go and do a boot camp. You won't be able to make any other money and you're out 20 grand. Uh, th there is a, a, a reasonable likelihood that you will get a job through the networking, but it might not be a job that you are super happy with. You might not actually be doing true data science after you leave. So that is something to consider, something to think about when you're approaching a data science bootcamp. I will say I have seen some success from data science bootcamps. I have a couple friends that have gone through these and have gotten pretty good jobs. I will say most of those friends already come from a quantitative background and they were just using the data science bootcamp to show that they are willing to learn what is latest and greatest in the field. A big thing about getting a job in data science is that you are interested in continued learning. You're trying to improve, you're trying to stay on the cutting edge. So they use this to showcase that ability to showcase that interest in themselves. To me, one of the biggest barriers to entry here is this high front end cost. If you have the money and you're not really worried about employment immediately, I think that this could be a good option, but a data science bootcamp by itself is not going to get you a job. If you have really good projects, you're willing to commit time even outside the bootcamp to making your portfolio, filling it out, then there is a reasonable chance that a bootcamp could get you a job. On the other hand, employers don't necessarily look at a bootcamp as equivalent to a graduate degree, so it could hurt you in that sense. Finally, I think that this bootcamp could be a good thing for you if you've built out a really extensive portfolio already. You know, you're already uh, interested in learning data science, you're doing projects, you're doing these things, but you need a little boost with the networking and you need a little boost with improving your resume. I mean, although it is expensive to pay for that, if you have a really solid foundation and you just need to get in front of the right people, this is a great way to do that. Again, if you have the money to do so. An example of that would be if you're a software engineer and you've built out a good technical portfolio on GitHub, you know how to use all these systems, but you need to brush up on the math concepts. A data science bootcamp, where if you're working off a software engineer salary is expensive, but affordable, you could potentially leverage yourself into a new position through brushing up on this quick skill set very easily. All right, so now let's talk about the final option, which is a master's in data science, a master's in predictive analytics, one of these types of programs. Now, I actually, I didn't do one of these. I did a master's in computer science, which I think is a little off topic for this video, but I took a lot of the same courses that the students with the master's in predictive analytics were also taking. So I, I, a lot of them are my friends and I got their feel about if this was a good idea or not. So let's talk about some of the benefits here. So the first is a lot of data science positions ask for a graduate degree. And if you do a master's in data science, a master's in predictive analytics, you do check that box. I will say because of the increasing popularity of this degree, I think that it is getting slightly devalued because there are so many people coming out and universities are really pushing these degrees out as quickly as possible. So they're, you know, if, if you're worried about getting lost in the pack of people with these degrees, I think that that is a fairly reasonable concern. Although if you're looking in the next three to five years, I don't think it will be an issue. Another positive is a lot of these degrees offer you the potential to get an internship. In my opinion, the best way to get into a data science position is to have previous data science experience and an internship gives you real world experience and could also lead to a job with the company you're interning for. So if you do one of these programs, make sure that you try and do an internship if it is available to you, because that, in my opinion, again, is the best way into a real data science role. Finally, 
you also get to see real exit opportunities and you also get the school network to help you potentially find a job. I don't think that this is necessarily as rigorous as it is in a boot camp with a resume help, but if you use the university resources, you can get the same amount. It's just not as pushed onto you. They care about exit opportunities, but you should really do your homework to see where people go. I, again, in any program you look at, recommend looking at where the exit opportunities are, where people have gone from this program, because that'll be very representative of the quality of the program and what you can expect there. In terms of negatives, this is by far the most expensive over the long term, but it also gives you the benefits of actually having another degree. In addition to this, the time commitment is longer than any of any of the other options. You're looking at at the minimum a year up to three and a half years to do one of these programs. But potentially you could do it part time while working and you wouldn't have to worry about that major cash outlay if you still have some cash coming in. Finally, with these programs, as with the other ones, there is no guarantee of a job. So you could go and pay, I don't know how much it might, it might cost, 20 to $60,000 for one of these programs and still not have a job afterwards. I personally think a master's in data science degree makes the most sense for a couple different people. So the first is someone who's already a data analyst. They're on the fringe of the data science field and getting this degree, degree working on projects can show that they are ready to move into a real data science role. If you're already in one of those positions, there's a decent chance that your company will be willing to pay for this. So I think that that is, is generally a pretty good thing. The other person who I think that this type of program could be good for is someone who's looking to break into the analyst role or the kind of data analytics rather than data science. If you go to one of these degrees, there's a very good chance that you get a data analyst role, um, even if you don't have a, a true background in data analysis or, or data analytics. You can use those, those internship opportunities, et cetera, to really target that and eventually over the longer term move into a data science role. I think because data science, most of these positions are not entry level, you have to build up some experience. And to me, the you know, analyst position is the best place to learn these skills. The last option that I think could be very useful is to not do any degree and to really just focus all of that time, effort, and money into your personal projects, building out a really cool, perhaps website, web infrastructure to be able to show to employers. Also doing volunteer work can be really beneficial. If you find a nonprofit or you find someone who could, has data that they're willing to give you and you believe you could create value in return, that completely counts as real world experience. I have a couple videos that I will link above, one about the projects you should do and one about how you can get work experience even without a, you know, an actual data science job. Now, a couple of the benefits here are that it is almost completely free, just does take a lot of time and elbow grease. I also think that there are plenty of online free resources that are out there that can give you a comparable understanding of data science to that of a classroom, a boot camp, or a certificate. Um, but you have to be really self-motivated. So a couple drawbacks of a self-study program is that you have to be a self-starter. You have to be willing to put this time in. And it is also going to be a little bit time consuming. You're, go you're not going to have a structure on this. So you're going to have to figure out how to do rigorous data science study every day over time. Now with this option, I think that you save a lot of resources, you save a lot of time, and you can really focus on specific areas of interest for yourself. You can build out an incredible portfolio. And if you are someone who is a self-starter, this is really a great option for you. I myself personally was unable to do this. I needed some structure around schooling and grades to really kind of push me towards learning this. I know that about myself. And if I ever wanna learn something, I have to put some pretty strict criteria around it. Even the financial cost to me was something that was motivating me to continually learn this. So I wasn't wasting that money. So again, I think that there are use cases for all of these different types of programs. It just matters on your personal situation. So for the certificate program, if you're coming from a PhD or a very quantitative background and you want to show that you are interested in learning about data science, 
so that you have uh, some association with data science for your resume, this could be a good option. Also, if you just want a taste of the field to see if it's interesting for you, this is a kind of low barrier to entry to see if you want to take further steps and make further investment into this. A boot camp, I be believe, again, is for someone in that PhD or a really rigorous situation where you have a good quantitative background and you want to pivot into this field. Or if you're a software engineer or someone who has a, a solid technical background but no real data science experience to be able to get into uh, the right resources for resume building and networking. Finally, if you're interested in moving from an analyst position to a data science position, I think that this master's in data science really makes sense. Also, if you're interested from going outside of data science into a data analyst role that could potentially lead to a data science role, the master's in data science, predictive analytics, etc., are practical for you. Obviously, you have to think in terms of your finances, and I wouldn't recommend you make any decision that puts you in financial risk or compromises your savings. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.